From the Digital Design Studio in Culver City comes the West LA College Show. Hi, I'm Stephen Carter, and today I'm here with Interim President Bob Sprague. Hi, glad to be here. What are your goals as the president of West Los Angeles College? The primary role that I'm going to have is to build a bridge between um, our past president and whoever comes in probably in October uh, to be the next regularly, pres uh, regularly appointed president. Uh, specifically about goals for the college for myself, uh, first is a focus on making this the year of the student and opening up a debate about how we create the year of the student into maybe the decade of the student or institutionalizing a commitment to the student in everything we do from now on. Not to limit it to one year, but to open the door to a discussion of how we make this a, uh, an institution for the student all the time in everything we decide to do. So that's one goal, and another goal is to emphasize the opportunities for growth. Uh, the college is in a place where right now the state is funding growth. If we grow our enrollment, we will be funded for the growth. And in a couple of other areas, we're going to be expanding and creating growth. Um, we'll talk about facilities in a minute, I think, but uh, the facilities will enhance growth. And in particular, we're going to enhance and expand and develop further our grants. We're going to collaborate with our foundation in order to create grants and uh, uh, programs of giving from the foundation and we're going to expand the activities of the enterprise uh, manager who does things like rents the campus for other people's uses and uh, creates revenues from things like um, marketing and branding and uh, even selling coca-cola underneath the uh, underneath the awning of some of the buildings so how exactly will you achieve growth for example, in the area of enrollment, we're going to add uh, sections and we're going to um, work to increase the enrollment in the sections that we're offering. We're going to open up high schools again for the first time in about two years. We're going to have a faculty member who's reassigned just to do high school relations again. Uh, it's been about two years since we've been regularly in the high schools. But each one of the high schools is very interested in finding out ways that uh, high school students can prepare and get enrolled and prepare to enroll uh, in their local community college. And that's one major way that we're going to expand. But we're also going to increase our marketing and recruitment and spend more as well as do more activities with um, chambers and with um, uh, business and labor, with uh, churches and temples, and uh, uh, with public agencies like the libraries, employment centers, and other, area, uh, other areas like that that fill up uh, functions within the community that also really can benefit from having a partnership with the college. Speaking of changed landscapes, I've noticed there's a lot of new faculty at West. How many new faculties exactly are they? There are about 12 from last year, and there'll be 15 new faculty again this year. Uh, the faculty will be all tenure track. The last year's will be in their second year of tenure. This year we'll have a whole new group of 15 starting their tenure. We'll have programs to support them. We'll have programs that will help to contribute to their being successful. Between the two plus the prior year, we have about 35 to 40 brand new faculty or one or two year old faculty on the campus. It really does change the way in which the uh, campus works and the way in which I hope students relate to faculty. Uh, we've been very lucky at West. Um, uh, we've got unusually strong, strong candidates and uh, we've been able to pick from a few candidates and in every single case we've got somebody who's an outstanding choice. Whoa, that's a lot of people. I've also heard there's a lot of changes in what people do at West. Can you tell me a little more about that? Right. Um, uh, we just issued a letter that offers uh, six uh, reassignments from a, for a person who's already got an assignment at the school. Let's say a person's teaching or counseling or is functioning as a librarian to take uh, assignment away from that 
job in order to do new things. I mentioned the Jumpstart program where we're going to take one faculty member and give that person an opportunity to develop the high school program again. We're going to do that with POP, which is a program with the uh, Police Academy, uh, taking high school students to go through a two-year program where they earn their diploma and their college degree at the same time. Uh, we're going to do uh, an assignment for the ACT program, which is a sequence set of courses. In two years, a, stu a student will be able to complete a two-year program, but attend part-time. It has a guaranteed transfer to Cal State Dominguez Hills and will be uh, transferable to other Cal States and UCs as well. So those are three examples. We have six of those. We also have about 15 ways in which faculty can enter into assignments that will contribute to the accreditation process. And that's another whole area where faculty can get engaged. Um, in addition to those two things, we have uh, mentoring for our new tenure track faculty. We match a tenured faculty member up with a tenure track faculty member. And that's probably 45 uh, mentoring assignments. And we've just reorganized our divisions so that we have um, 13 academic divisions now. And in each case where we have a new chair, we're mentoring that person with a more experienced uh, division chair. So there's mentoring opportunities, accreditation opportunities, and special projects opportunities over and above what people are normally doing in their teaching. Interim President Bob Sprague, thank you for your time. Sure, it's my pleasure, thank you.